Hey fam, have you been wanting to start a YouTube channel, but every time you hit the record button, you feel shy or maybe you freeze up completely? Well, in this video, we're going to go over seven tips on how to overcome your fear talking on camera. If you're new here, my name is Philip, and I'm currently on a challenge to make 30 videos in 30 days. My goal is to become a better communicator, and this benefits you because I'm sharing everything I know about how to start a YouTube channel. Listen, I struggle to talk in front of the camera. It isn't easy. Just look at my day one video. I struggle to talk for 18 minutes, but I'm learning that brings us to our first tip. So tip number one is practice speaking in front of a mirror or a webcam. Trust me, this works wonders when you see yourself talking. You get used to your expression and body language. It's like a warm up before the real thing. What I mean by like practicing in the mirror, you can, you know, wake up in the morning, practice what you're gonna say and and go from there. So let's elaborate a little bit more on practice speaking in front of a mirror or a webcam. It could be walking and talking. Uh, it's something that it's more in my element. So when I was doing it, uh, it was able to feel more natural. Now let's go into tip number two, start with a short clips. Don't pressure yourself to film a full length video right away. Just record a few minutes of yourself talking about a topic you enjoy. Gradually, you'll build up your confidence and increase the length. So basically what I mean about practicing on starting with short clips is starting out, you're not gonna feel comfortable talking for a longer period of time. So what I recommend is just starting off with just doing a one minute clip and build yourself up. You know, the next video you can do a minute and 30 seconds. The next video you can do two minutes. It can mend by 30 seconds more, right? And you're seeing yourself improve and look over the video, see and criticize yourself honestly and, and improve on what you can do better on. What did you see? that you did well at and build up on that. And it's a process, guys. It's gonna take time. You just gotta keep knocking it out little by little. And also, st there's different levels of feeling, for example, camera shy, right? I feel that that's like on a, on a lower level, but then it becomes a lot higher up the rank when you feel fearful of starting your YouTube. Meaning, I believe that once you get to a point where you freeze up on camera, I believe that it's no longer camera shyness, it's really a fear. Think about it. When you're trying to, for example, um, when I was eight, 18, I turned 18, I really, Think about your younger self. You maybe you're you're in a position where you you weren't fearful, but now you're in your thirties. You start feeling this anxiety inside you to not do things that you normally would do when you're younger, right? And that is because we're limiting ourselves and being fearful and building into that because we're constantly not pushing our boundaries to overcome this fear, and so. I think is a big factor of why many people don't start YouTube because they have this fear of wondering, for example, uh, scared of what the people or the audience that watch their video uh, think or criticize what they say or how they speak, right? And this fear is, is something that I want to talk about in this video to overcome it. So now we're gonna go to tip number three. Focus on the content, not the camera. Okay, so this was a perfect example of what happened to me yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I felt like I was in my element. I was able to just focus on the content. And when I uh, was able to just focus on the content and not focus on the camera, what do, what do I mean by this? I mean, Okay, sometimes you're recording yourself and there's elements that, that catch you off guard. For example, there's a dog, a big dog walking in front of you. That's what happened to me yesterday. And then it kind of distracted me because I wasn't focused on the content. But at the same time, 
uh, you do have to be aware of your surroundings at all times, right? But for video content, it does uh, distract you when you start focusing on the outer things or your environment. And when you start focusing on just your content and you're able to be more efficient, number one, and you're able to get straight to the point because time is everything for your audience and is very... Uh, pe your audience will pick up on whether you're, you know, going around the bush or you're going straight to the point. And people will respect that about you when you're just more efficient and also be able to elaborate exactly what you're trying to communicate. So focus on the content, not the camera. Okay, that will help you overcome your fear of talking on the camera. Okay. This was a game changer for me. When you consciously concentrate on delivering your message, you naturally forget about the camera and the nerve starts to fade. Imagine you're talking to a friend. You don't want to talk as if you're talking to a camera. Think of it, your camera as a person that you're just trying to communicate to who is your friend, okay? So that will help, okay? So tip number four, prepare and rehearse your content. What many of you don't know behind the scenes I wake up four o'clock in the morning and I literally rehearse everything that I want to say. Now, when I'm rehearsing, I'm not talking about like reading things word for word, but just um, free flowing, getting into a flow state. What I mean by getting in a flow state is um, write out your content on an outline. Start off with your phone, put down your notes, and talk about titles, right? Focus on the title and that will help out. So what I mean by, how do you even get a title? That's a whole nother topic, but I don't wanna get into that. But that's the title helps you focus on your content and then break down uh, like seven, seven tips or whatever it may be your topic on. Break it down and elaborate. And then don't write out everything you're gonna say just focus on your points. Make a list on just your points only and focus on that. And so um, that, that really helps me. You have to prepare before you start your video. Tip four is all about preparation. Outline or script your video ahead of time. Rehearse it until you feel confident. When you know what you're going to say, the anxiety decreases because you're no longer worried about forgetting your lines. When you don't practice what you're going to say. Let's be real, it builds up anxiety inside of you, right? And, and here's the thing, I'm trying to tackle out years of anxiety that's been built into you, okay? I know this because I know this isn't, this isn't like one month, two months, three months you've been thinking about starting a YouTube. It could have been for years and you just put it aside and I'm talking to you and that anxiety builds up and you have to, you don't have to, but what I'm saying is you got to get to the point of knocking it out, right? And so like when I was 18, I had a fear of heights. Now, even climbing up the roof was high for me, okay? So I thought beyond just the rooftop of climbing up the roof, but going skydiving, right? Either you go big or go home. It's the same thing I implement into the YouTube channel, right? This 30 day challenge is very difficult, but it's well worth it. And I'm telling you guys that the anxiety you have, you have to, you know, you don't have to go skydiving like myself, you know, to overcome that fear but like i said in the first tip you know just do increments tip number five is use positive visualization all right imagine yourself you're closing your eyes right and before you start filming close your eyes and imagine yourself nailing the video and picture yourself speaking confidently and getting positive feedback from your audience this mental shift can make a big difference, okay? Because it's 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 sometimes it's is more of a mental 
thing, and especially when you're talking about being fearful of being on camera or being shyness, right? It's, it's either or, either you're shy or you're fearful, but either way, these tips will help you. Um, it's about, people will always say, uh, manifest uh, what you want, right? Like, see it come to fruition. Let's just use this as an example. Conor McGregor, right? He manifested that he was going to be a double champ, right? And he was a, a plumber before he became a UFC fighter, right? And so it's the same thing. When it comes to YouTube, you have to visualize it, right? And the best way I always start my morning, I visualize how it's going to come out on YouTube, how I'm going to say uh, and focus and get straight to the point on how to overcome your fear of talking on the camera. Tip number six, accept that perfection isn't necessary. Now, look, when you make your videos, it's not going to be perfect. All right. It's okay to put out videos that's not perfect. Your first hundred videos, like Mr. B said, it's not going to be good. But the point is, quantity, I believe, beats quality. You can put hours into videos, and believe me, I've, I've done this, okay? I put literally three weeks into one video, and it got like 100 views. And it's crazy because my previous videos before that, I was getting thousands of views. But the one I put a lot of effort into that video, I got less than by 10x right i don't know what the youtube algorithm is but that's what happened to me personally right i'm speaking on experience right i've been through it and i'm just trying to help you guys to know that you don't have to be the best video editor or know how to uh, be technically sound no sometimes you just need a software to just put all the clips that you want to put on youtube and that's it you don't even need to edit the video just go Go straight to the point. And so what I want to go back to is the tip, right? Except that perfection isn't necessary, right? It, look, except that perfection isn't necessary. This is huge. We all make mistakes. My first few videos are full of them, and that's okay. The key is to keep going and not let those little slip-ups stop you from creating. Right? So the key is to keep pushing through, right? We can literally stop ourselves from making videos just because we think that it's not good enough, right? And it's time to just push through those moments and you'll be a better content creator for that. Believe me, you just gotta keep pushing out the videos the more quantity is better. There's been a study on this, um, and they and through that study, the result was quantity was always uh, was was a better result than the quality. Okay. Okay. So this brings up to our last tip. Film in a comfortable film in a comfortable environment. Okay. And what I mean by this is. For me personally, even as I'm making this video now, okay, I feel comfortable speaking in front of the camera in my so-called office slash garage. <laughs> but it's about finding your element, guys. Okay, I can't repeat this enough, okay? My other videos I've done from walking and talking, no. find something comfortable for you. All right, it might be you sitting at a park. It might be uh, you at, uh, for example, if you're a barber, it might be you cutting hair because this is what you've done every day for the last few years, right? That's your environment, right? So how do you go about finding your environment that you're comfortable in? Um, easy, so simply, for me personally, all right, this environment that I'm in right now, I'm in every day because this is where I edit videos for you guys to watch. And then 
when I'm walking down a path, right? I'm not walking down a path that I'm not familiar with. I walk this path every day. And what helps is when you walk down this path, all right, if you want to do a walking, talking video, go to a, have a destination. For example, in my previous video, I was going to purchase some ball, right? In future videos, I might go get a haircut, right? But it's something that you've been doing for majority of your life, right? That from your experience, this is your comfortable environment. Let your audience see that, right? Your environment that you're comfortable with. Don't go to, for example, perfect example, day one, I went to a market, right? But the reality is, yes, even though I went there every day to buy food, the problem is the noise level was so loud, I couldn't even hear my thoughts. So I really suggest as a bonus tip to find somewhere quiet, right? So when I was doing those walking and talking, it was literally four o'clock in the morning. So if I was to do it right now, the walking talking at seven o'clock in the morning, I mean, you can't hear in the background, they're doing construction work, they're sawing metal, they're, they're building a house across the street. It's very loud at seven o'clock in the morning. So if I'm doing a walking talk video, it either has to be between four to six o'clock. If it's past that, I'm not going to do a walk and talk video. So learning how to adjust, finding your element. I hope you guys enjoy these tips to overcome your fear on talking on the camera. All right. And if you like this video, please hit that like button, share to your friends that were considering starting a YouTube channel. Uh, and also comment down below. What are some things that that are holding you back personally because we're all in this together okay i literally have now 192 subscribers and i really appreciate those that subscribe and i hope you guys enjoy this content of being how to how to start your own youtube channel all right peace and love love you guys and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> peace out